tips to become a dangerous man. One, speak more slowly. This is a sign of confidence and assurance. Two, smile with your eyes more than with your mouth. Three, walk with your shoulders back and spine straight. That shows comfort. Four, never answer immediately. Take a few seconds and respond accurately. Silence is power. Five, wait a few seconds before answering. Do it simple and short. Six, have an ego. It's okay to think you're the king in the room. Seven, walk slower even if you are late. It looks like you don't give a fuck. Eight, master the art of subtle intimidation. A piercing stare, a cold smile, or a slight tilt of the head can be more effective than words. Nine, cultivate an aura of mystery. Don't reveal too much about yourself. Let people wonder and speculate. Ten, be unpredictable. Keep others guessing. Never let them know your next move. Eleven, develop a strong presence. Command attention when you walk into a room. Twelve, be decisive. Show confidence in your decisions and don't hesitate to take action. Thirteen, learn to control your emotions. Don't let anger or frustration rule your actions. Fourteen, be a man of your word. Keep your promises and never be caught lying. Fifteen, be physically strong. A healthy and fit body contributes to self-confidence and mental toughness. Sixteen, develop your mental acuity. Be sharp, resourceful, and always two steps ahead. Seventeen, learn to fight, not just physically but also mentally and emotionally. Eighteen, be ruthless when necessary. Don't let emotions cloud your judgment when it comes to protecting yourself or your interests. Nineteen, be a leader. Inspire and motivate others to follow you. Twenty. Be a man of action. Don't just talk. Take action and achieve your goals. I'm ugly. Any tips? How are you ugly? Uh, I'm short and my face looks like Sasquatch. You're focusing a lot on what you can't control. Focus on what you can lift weights, dress nice, and fix your personality. Remember, handsome is physical, attractive is behavioral. So ugliness can be fixed? It's not a game of fixing. It's a game of playing with variables, sort of like math. Confidence is an equation that you need to solve in context to your life, not someone else's. That's why a certain piece of advice can work with some people and fall with others. That's because everyone's perception is different. What is perception? Your perception is how you view the world, and it's created via unique experiences, circumstances, and knowledge. At this point, you think you're ugly, and you make it worse by focusing on the fixed numbers of your equation. While in reality, you should be focusing on the dynamic ones you can't control your height and face structure. But what you can control is your personality, how you dress, athleticism, etc. All the time you're spending focusing on what you can't control, there's a person with less than you who is focusing on what they can. Why do you specifically talk about athleticism, wardrobe, and personality for? Because when you play around with these variables, you can hit the jackpot and undo a lot of setbacks. Combat sports teach you grit. Team sports build social skills. Weights teach you accountability. How you dress is also in your control. Everyone has different styles. Someone's closet is like someone's cell phone. The content within will never be identical. Pick whatever works for you. The wardrobe influences mentality. You'll immediately notice the influence when you wear a custom fit suit versus the one you got in a thrift store. But the most important of all of this is the personality. Without that, all else falls apart. The great physique and wardrobe mean nothing if it's hanging on a bitter soul. What does it mean to have an attractive personality? Someone that magnetizes then repels? And how do I do that? What's funny is that it's pretty simple. You just need some common sense on human nature and not be rude. But plenty fail at this. Signs of an attractive personality. Signs of an attractive personality. Has life mission listened, rather than just nodding head includes, everyone in convo can introduce others. Stands up for themselves. Has a sense of humor invested in self-improvement in some way, etc. Someone's personality can be their unique advantage or their downfall. Energy only comes in two forms. Empowering. Draining. Which one are you? If you think your personality is fixed, then you have been sold a lie by society. Why would they lie to me? 
Because if they can make you think your personality is fixed, then it's easier to control you. Bottom line is that your personality is not fixed. And you don't need me to tell you this. You just need to take a walk down memory lane. Only you're in charge of your confidence. Only you can fix your behavior. And only you can level up in your journey. So have fun while doing it. Bad boy charm. Qualities that women secretly want. 1. Make women feel feminine. If you can make a woman feel like one, she will be a completely different person with you than she will with anyone else. Be masculine. Wrap her around your arm and lead. 2. Supreme confidence. Be genuine, comfortable in your own skin, not the I'm better than you or the fake it till you make it kind. 3. Risk taker. Bad boys have balls. There's no hiding or beating around the bush with you. And this type of courage excites women very much. 4. Don't worry about others' opinions. They couldn't give a rat's ass about what you think of them. They are who they are. It's a sign of strength. Women love being around someone with a carefree attitude because they are often neurotic. 5. Unpredictable. You don't know what they'll do. Bad boys don't follow societal rules or succumb to peer pressure. They march to their own beat. The element of surprise intrigues the ladies. 6. Dominant. They make women feel safe and protected. 7. Never boring. They are daredevils and women are more attracted to guys who, despite their rudeness and selfishness, are brave and independent, and they live exciting lives. It's just hotter. 8. Dangerously exciting. Dating a bad boy is an adrenaline rush. They're mysterious, adventurous, and more likely to engage in risky behavior. They are more intriguing to some girls. 